My name is Michael Heppel and I am a professional speaker and I thought I would share with you 10 of my top tips if you want to be a pro speaker. Always get there early. The last thing you want as a speaker is to be suddenly sending a text or ringing somebody, I'm on my way, I'm stuck in the airport. I love to be there way before the start of the event, the day before 99% of the cases. So one of the most important rules for anyone who's presenting is to look after the AV crew. These people are just so, so important. Be respectful. If you're gonna be working with them, send through your presentation in good time. The last thing you wanna be doing is turn up with one of these with a few minutes before a presentation saying, excuse me, just plug that in there. Can you just change a couple of things? Because if you do that, these good people, what do you think when they do that, Adam? It's not great. Not great, is it? That's a <laughs> polite way of saying that it's an absolute nightmare. So important to look after this crew, make sure they've got everything that they need, make sure that you're gonna do the right thing things for them and they'll do the right stuff for you. Never, and I mean never, ever, ever stop learning. You can get so much information and boy, it's easier than ever. I used to travel the world to go and see other speakers. Now, YouTube. You can go on and see what other people are doing. You can look at TED Talks. You can get so much information, but don't rip other people's material off. Develop your own material, your own ideas, or if you are going to use somebody else's idea, give them some credit. Tell them I saw such and such do this, here's what they did. It makes you look well read and educated anyway, so don't pinch other people's ideas, never stop learning, develop your own skills, and deliver them with some passion. Create mega slides. Now, mega slides mean that it's not auto cue. A lot of speakers, they have all their words on a slide and then they're looking down at the screen like this and they're kind of seeing what it's all going to be about and, and, they're, and they're saying what's on there. People are saying what's up there. People don't want to see that. Maybe four or five words on a slide, some strong images. There's this myth that people say you can have too many slides. It's not true. Never too many, only too boring. Know your audience. It's such an obvious one. People say that, don't they? Yeah, you need to know your audience. Any speaker course you would ever go on, know your audience. But do you really know your audience? You might have had a brief from the client, but the audience might have different expectations. So talk to them, mix with them. During coffee times, during break times, go and introduce yourself. Don't hide away somewhere in a dressing room. Get out there, meet people, find out what's important to them, and I bet you get some amazing nuggets of information that you can use during your presentations. Do you want to know the best way to get an amazing introduction? Write your own and give it to the organizers. If you tell people exactly what you want them to say, they will say it, they will read it out word for word, but make sure it's authentic. Don't say that you're a number one best-selling author just because you had your book on number one on Amazon for two hours because all your mates bought it. Make sure you're telling people authentic stuff about you, give them that information and they will read it perfectly. And you'll get the best introduction every time. You know, when you do an event, it's really important that you're going to be there on the day watching other people on the stage doing their thing because it's so important that you weave things together. And I like to make sure that if somebody's going to say something on the stage that morning, if I'm speaking in the afternoon, I can reference it. The worst example I saw was at an event for a thousand hoteliers. The opening keynote on the first day, this guy said, how old do you think the oldest hotel in the world is? And then he revealed it was 1,300 years old and it's still going. Wow, big, big fact. In the afternoon, another speaker does exactly the same thing. How old do you think the oldest hotel in the world is? And everyone was very polite, of course. They were like, mm, and he said, it's 1,300 years old. Yay. But he looked like a bit of an idiot. The next morning, there's been a gala dinner the night before. All the filters are off. The first speaker of the day, how old do you think the oldest hotel in the world is? And everybody shouted out, 1,300 years old. This poor guy, he absolutely collapsed. The rest of his presentation was all over the place. So learn from other people who are on the stage, link with other people who are on the stage, but don't do what other people have already done on the stage. As a professional speaker, really knowing how to set up a room is important for you. You're the one who has to be in control. So things like where the screen is, where the stage is going to be, have some input into that. Talk to the organizers about it because at the end of the day, you're the one who's going to be standing there. Work really closely with the sound guys. Make sure that you've got really good sound, really great visuals, and make this room become your own. One thing that all pro speakers have in common is we have an ego. Of course we do. Why else would you want to stand on stage and have people applaud you and 
give you accolades and stuff. But the important thing is actually to leave that ego at home and make it all about the audience. Confidence and ego are two different things. People can smell a bad ego a mile away. People feel a confidence and they want to be part of it. You make the choice and make sure that you're leading with confidence and leave the ego at home. Learn stagecraft. It's so important that you know how to use a stage, to know exactly where an audience is going to be, to understand how to work a room, to understand the best places to stand on a stage. Some places have better light than others. So if you get here nice and early, work with the AV team, you'll be able to work that out. Don't ever get into that position where you've got the projector on your face so that people have got that kind of a bright white bit at one corner and then the rest of your face on the other corner. These are the things that you need to avoid. By learning great stagecraft and really drawing the audience in, you're going to be able to do a much better presentation. Mm -hmm.